Recently, I did a review for the Springfield Hellcat, and I got to be honest, I was extremely impressed. You know, I'm not the biggest into concealed carry guns. They serve a critical role, but you know, they're just, for me, they're not that much fun to play with because if you follow my site, you know how I like to play, especially at distance. Okay, with that said, I wanted to see what the options were for carrying this gun. I absolutely am loving this Hellcat. It's my number one carry now. A friend of mine asked me if I was familiar with Alien Gear, and I wasn't, which surprised him. Now that I've kind of checked it out, uh, it surprised me that I hadn't heard of Alien Gear. So I want to introduce you to Alien Gear. Check this out. So I did a review on the Hellcat on Springfield Armory and on my YouTube channel, and it is one hell of a gun. I really do like this little concealed carry gun, and I wanted to explore what were all the options for carrying it. This instantly moved to my number one choice for concealed carry. Now, Alien Gear has an incredible selection of carry methods, more than I have seen with any other company, and the quality is exceptional, and it's made in the USA. Now, I got my hands on just about everything that Alien Gear makes for the Hellcat. Let's start going through them. Now putting the cart before the horse, before you talk about holsters, you have to have a solid belt or the best holster is not gonna function correctly and your pants are gonna fall down. I came across the company that makes what looks like an outstanding belt, perfect for this review. I never thought I'd be excited about a belt, but thus far, I love this belt, guys. So much so that I felt the need to do a completely separate video. You have to check that out. Find the link below and watch that review. Okay, so let's start reviewing the Alien Gear with their Shape Shift Core Carry Pack. Check this out, out of the box, and then we're gonna go through them each individually. Okay, so this is the Shape Shift Core Carry Pack. Let's just take a look here. We're gonna just take this stuff out. These are our two pads. One thing that I really like, get it out. Is the pictures here. It tells us in waistband, the appendix, out of waistband, out of waistband. So we got these, we'll set those to the side. And we're gonna open this up, okay. We start with this. I'm just gonna take some of this stuff out right now. Okay, so several things here. First is the instruction book that comes with it. I gotta be honest, I did not find helpful. Um, yeah, I'm pretty good at taking things apart and putting things back together. I do with my guns all the time. And I'm gonna admit, when I first opened this up, it was totally overwhelming and I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, how does, I mean, some of this is obvious how it goes together. Okay, which is, I like that. That's KISS, okay, and I got it upside down. But then when it comes to some of these others, you're like, okay, how does this go together? I actually, honestly, had to go online because I could not figure out how I was supposed to do this. And there was a video, I'll provide the link, that was from Alien Gear that made it quick and easy. So hopefully what I'm gonna do in this is I'm gonna take away that need for you and show you how to do it. This system is awesome. Don't, don't let all the pieces and parts fluster you like it did me, because I'm honest. It's got these little tabs here. These are key for everything, and then they pop off. We can use these same things to make adjustments. This is my trigger guard tension. And all I gotta do is take this and put it in here and I can adjust the tension. Now with this particular one, I went ahead and already adjusted the tension. 
Okay, and then we've got one here. We're gonna take that off. Okay, because this, as it comes, this is set up so we can use all the other different holsters that have this star pattern. All we gotta do is pop it in and you're good to go. So the, le the drop leg mount, the chest mount, and some of those, we're gonna use this. But some of these others, okay, that have this kind of configuration, we can't have this back piece, it's not gonna work. Now, this just slides off. What was confusing helpful is, is that I actually don't need this back piece. I'm only gonna use half of it for these parts, okay? And we're gonna, it's gonna piece together like this. But before we do that, we're gonna use the trigger guard holder and that just mounts on. We've got these little slots, they mount up, okay? Clicks on just like that. Now, we're gonna take one of these little knobs, we're gonna put it right back on, twist it. Now up here, it's gonna click in just like that. We got this little spare piece here, it's gonna slide on just like so. And we put this on and we twist it and now it's locked in. Okay, so we got the appendix one. For the most part set up, we need a clip though on the outside so that this can fit on the outside, or sorry, inside of the belt. Okay, push this up just like that. We pop this on there and there we go. Now, if you don't like the tension of that, if that's not enough, we take this off, we come over here, and we can adjust this. Okay, the next one is gonna be the in the waistband, what they call the appendix. You can either wear it back here in the small of your back, or you can wear it anywhere along up here. I just have it right here, and it comes out. I wanna go with this one. We just simply reverse all that. We're gonna leave the trigger guard hold in there. Okay, so we get to here. We gotta cover this up. We got that little sort of generic piece because we always gotta be able to put these back on. We're in business, guys. Now, these, we can adjust to three different heights. All we gotta do is twist this around, it pops out, and we can set it to the high setting or to the very lowest setting. Now, this is the inside the waistband. Now, I'm gonna go from the inside the waistband, and I want to just use the Alien Gear Shape Shift Quick Detach for the button here. Okay, we come over here and reverse this. Okay, now we have the traditional outside the waistband with the paddle with the thumb release. And the nice thing is with the shape shift, we've got a little button here. We can just take this off and then we can transfer this to one of the other many carry options. Now I wanna do the minimalist appendix one. It's actually pretty kiss when you know how to do it, but when you open that box, and if you're just looking at it in the instructions, it can be a bit confusing and a bit frustrating. Here's another really cool thing that I almost totally forgot is we can change the angle of the draw. We can, put it, we can do a straight up and down. We like it canted back a little bit, and it's solid. If we want it canted forward a little bit, we can turn it that way. It also gives us sort of a bonus, this accessory, which it has the screws and stuff. We can mount this to any surface. We can mount it in the car, on the dashboard. We can mount it under a table. And then same thing, I can take this off my hip, 
and I can put it there and then it would be mounted under a table on the dashboard. Okay, one of my all time favorites is the classic shoulder holster. Okay, so this is the shoulder harness rig and it uses the exact same modularity here. This is the one outer shell. All we gotta do is we can pop these. So if we already have the basic, then we don't need this. We can get just the shoulder harness and everything else is the same. And then the mag holders, same exact mag holders. They pop out and we can put them on there. Okay, so this is across the chest. It isn't compatible per se with the shape shift. We don't have any clicks or anything. It just holds in there. We can't adjust the tension. This is sort of a, you know, concealed carry within a jacket or something. It's really comfortable and kind of out of the way. I like this. Now, the one that is on the chest that does not use the shape shift. It's simply held in and we can adjust the tension. And then we have the one that goes in the pocket, sort of breakout printing. It's got this so that it doesn't come out of your pocket. It'll catch. And then we can adjust the tension here as to how hard that sticks in this protector. You know, it really does a pretty good job of not printing. It keeps it pretty square. And we reach in and it just pulls out. A lot of us have had problems with the holster wanting to come out with a gun, but that's what that big thing is on the side there. We can just reach in and it pops right out. Okay, this is the drop leg holster. I love this. On and off. We've got the rubber here for grabbing, fully adjustable. We've got the quick detach once it's hooked to the belt. So we can just leave these and take this off and these would stay on the belt. And then essentially all we got to do is take the basic unit that we started with and same as before, we just pop it in. Okay, and because of that star shape, we can change the angle if we want. And then the mags, they've got a spot over here and we can put those whatever we want or we can raise them a little bit higher and have them sit higher. And so all of this is adjustable and these same thing you can have these sitting at different angles ankle holster same system okay i'll show you this when i get it all set up and put on my ankle but the shell everything is the same and that's going to go on my ankle and we can change the height position here simply by turning this taking it off And then this pops out and we can adjust up or down however we want. Put that on. This little piece goes back on. There we go. And we're back in business. Another option is maybe you're just going to do some backpacking. You've got your traditional backpack. We've got this attachment here that will clamp on to any of the straps. And just like with all the others, I can simply take it off and switch it. I can adjust the angle at which this goes. And then I've got something on my backpack. This will fit onto any strap. So if we've got a backpack, waist, whatever, we can clip this on and I'll show you that. But just like everything else, now let's say it's going there. And we wanted it that angle. So to put this on, it's got the little pull tabs here. We just pull those. This flips open. We put the back backpack strap in there. And essentially, 
quick to attach. Then another one for Molly gear. And this one's tight fit, and that's what we want. So go through on our Molly vest, and then same as everything else, once it goes through, we just pop this back on. And there you go. And we also have the non-shape shift Molly holster. We can adjust these screws to adjust the tension to whatever we want. Here will also fit on backpacks and anything that has the Molly gear. Because if you're wanting extra mag holders, you've got the single cloak mag carrier. Now that's not just gonna be cloak, but it can also be belt. Their products remind me of Inspector Gadget, if you remember Inspector Gadget. This has got the two different belt clips, and so drop that there. Okay, so this is going to be the one that goes on the inside of the belt. We can quickly change that. We've got these clips here, and it just pops off, and now it goes on the belt on the outside. It has retention screws, three retention screws that we can adjust for whatever mag and whatever tension you want for being able to pull that out. And then we simply put this back on here, okay? Now we can take that off and change the belt clip and we can adjust the belt clip either higher or lower. It's about as modular as you're gonna get with a mag holder. I absolutely love this. There you have it, it is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. Happy shooting, educate our young people to shooting and gun safety, and be a safe and responsible gun owner.